When do I read books? Time ही नहीं मिलता So I bought these two books, but I start कैसे करूँ Well, this book seems to go on and on. खत्म क्यों नहीं हो रही है If you have also felt so, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome to Catchy Tales, and today we are going to be talking about reading books versus listening audio books. Based upon my personal experience, I would tell what are the five best things I liked about audio books. So here they are. Number one, relief to eyes. In times like today, where work means laptop screens and free time means binge watching on our phones, our eyes are always at use. So listening books is the best way to break that routine and giving our eyes some rest. Well, personally, my routine is that before going to sleep, I just open the app and plug in my earphones, lie on the bed, so I just read a chapter or two before going to sleep. Number two, books are now easy to crack. Whenever we buy a paperback or an e-book, and let's say it is of 120 pages, the next question that comes to our mind is that how much time it is gonna take me to complete this book of 120 pages? Well, the best part with audiobooks app is that that they give you the exact timing in which the book is gonna complete. For example, currently I'm reading Atomic Habits by James Clear, and I know that it is gonna take me three and a half hours to complete the entire book. In fact, I also know the time duration of each chapters it is going to take me to finish. So, books are now easy to crack. Number three. Move and listen. Books demand our dedicated time. So whenever you are reading a book, you need to sit down, take some time, get in the environment, and then just start reading. You need to be in the right frame of mind. But with audiobooks, you can be on the move, dusting, washing utensils, exercising, and can still be listening to your book. Number four makes us great listeners. In times like today, when everybody is busy and occupied in their own spaces, listening and listening patiently is a very rare phenomenon. Well, I too feel that I'm not such a great listener, but since the time I have started listening to quite a few audio books, I feel that I'm hanging on to each and every word of the voice artist, and this has enhanced my listening skills in general as well. Number five, best for night readers. I heard my last book Ikigai on an audiobook app and that has been my one of the most easiest read till date. I've also posted a book review on Ikigai. You can check it out. Link is in the description below. Personally, I like reading my books at night. I'm a night reader through and through. But after using your eyes throughout the day, it is very difficult to gather the right energy to read books. So, audiobooks are a great savior there. So all in all, audiobooks are a great way to start with books. However, there are three things I felt which are not there in our audiobooks, and because of which you might want to read a book instead. Number one, vocabulary. So if you're looking to build your vocabulary with books, then reading is a better option than listening to books. Why? Because with audiobooks, the larger focus is on the story and the content, and you seem to lose track of each and every word. But while you're reading books, you can easily spot a new word which you don't know, and by finding its meaning, you can easily add to your vocabulary. Number two, enhancing speech skills. In audiobooks, we are just listening to the books already read by the voice artist, so there is no reading involved. However, if you want to enhance your pronunciation and your speech style, then it's better that we read books out loud. Number three. Audiobooks are comparatively expensive. So among Kindle, paperbacks and audiobooks, Kindle are the most cheapest forms of book. Paperback is costlier than a Kindle version, while audiobooks are the most costliest. So if you're wanting to read books but you aren't able to find time in your busy lifestyle, then do give audiobooks a try. They are a great way to start. So if you like the video, do hit the like button and do subscribe Catchy Tales. Don't forget to drop a comment on your experiences with audiobooks or if you want to hop on to one. I'll be back with more such new videos but till then keep smiling, keep reading and keep
Keep listening.